Your favorite small business podcast is back. Mind the Business Small Business Success Stories from Intuit QuickBooks and Ruby Studio returns with more great episodes hosted by Austin Hankwitz and Janice Torres. Join me, Grace Wells, in episode one and learn how I turned my passion into a commercial filmmaking career. You'll also hear from small business owners about how they navigate the road of entrepreneurship and which essential tools and resources can help you keep your business running smoothly, like QuickBooks Money. Find it on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Is trust given or earned? Netflix's new competition series, The Trust, is the ultimate test of human nature, and you can trust that you're going to be obsessed. Eleven strangers are offered a quarter million dollars and a choice to share the money equally or vote each other out to take more for themselves. Would you choose to split the money? Could you trust others to share? Find out if good is greater than greed. The Trust, a game of greed, is now streaming on Netflix. Hey everyone, Andy Cohen here. Listen, I know a thing or two about New Year's, like how you're probably just about to bail on your resolutions. And I get it. My resolution to sleep better was keeping me up at night. But not anymore, because with a Walmart Plus membership, you can save your resolutions by saving time and money. With free shipping, gas savings, video streaming, plus so much more. So don't give up. Whatever your resolution, save it with a Walmart Plus membership. Join now to get $50 Walmart cash. Terms apply. Visit walmartplus.com for more information. Are you experienced? Sure, you've been to Las Vegas, but have you truly experienced Las Vegas? The Fremont Street Experience is the OG Las Vegas, featuring 100 amazing bars and restaurants, incredible people watching, and the signature Downtown Rocks concert series, featuring free live music from top acts. And you have to check out Slotzilla, the world's ultimate zip line. Do Vegas right. Check out the Fremont Street Experience and purchase your tickets to Slotzilla, a zip line unlike any other, at VegasExperience.com. Tuesday phone call. When you're in love, sometimes you do crazy, irrational, emotionally charged things. God, like oh, have yeah. kids? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no? No? Well, maybe that's okay. your life yeah. story. Right? But <laughs> later on, you come to regret those things. Oh. Like for me on Valentine's Day. And I, I know some of you in this room have heard mean? this before. But when I was in college, I basically destroyed my own fraternity house. Oh. After I invited two women to the Valentine's Day party, that's right. both said yes, and once they arrived, neither hung out with me the yeah. entire oh, evening. That's so right. yes, the ceiling above my bed had to be kicked in. Yeah. Oh, Thank you, why? Bacardi O. It's not fair, Jeff. I'm glad I don't see angry, Jeffrey, because that yeah. sounds like weird. That's in love, Jeffrey. But oh, today, one yeah, of our listeners, they're dealing with a regret that was also spawned out of love. Not no. sure if Bacardi was involved in their misfortunes, but yeah. let's talk to Jennifer about it. Jennifer, how you doing? I'm good. Hi, guys. Just one red flag talking to another possible red flag. Yeah. Yeah. Even you talking about Bacardi. Like, yeah. I don't know really... Bacardi yeah. orange flavor. Oh, oh Jeff. Jeff. Oh, oh, I made all oh. the good decisions back then. Even college kids wouldn't want yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Jennifer, please tell us that you're making smarter choices than Jeffrey. <laughs> um, maybe no. not. Oh, 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 that's my girl. Oh. All right. Tell us about your situation. How, okay. how has love come back to bite you? So I was dating a guy for four months. His name is Jason. Mm-hmm. And we met when my car got declined at a bar and he offered to pay for it. Oh, oh nice. opportunist. That's, yeah. Yeah. Nice. that's cute. Yeah. And he, we started hanging out and I was very clear with him that I like it when he pays attention to me. Like, for example, when I say that, I mean, like, if I'm on the couch with you, look at me, listen to me, respond to me. Well, that's yeah, three like, whole things that you're asking a man to do <laughs> yeah. while he's sitting on a couch. So you're telling... This is a big ask. <laughs> you is... just, you don't want your boyfriend to ignore you? Is that what you're saying? No watching the movie, only look at yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, don't be checking the sports scores constantly. Like, know that I'm there and be present with me as well. Be present. Okay. I, okay. I kind of see that. Okay. I mean, is this something, like, how soon into the relationship? Did you lay this down there? Uh, the first week. The first week. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was pretty clear. That's what I like, and that's how I like to be dated. You know, it's good okay. to establish okay. rules early on Absolutely. in the courtship. Yeah. Sometimes, and it worked for four months. Yeah. 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 So, so he was into it. He was fine with it. I mean, he agreed because he had no other choice. But then uh. one day, it kind of just uh. threw me off, and he stopped. Uh-oh. Wait, wait. What he- happened? He stopped paying attention to you. 
<laughs> so one day he just didn't respond to me for an entire 24 hours. Oh. He didn't respond to my text. I get upset. Like, clearly he doesn't respect me enough to answer one text. I don't care how busy you are. I'll give you three hours max. Oh, oh okay. So you're not even together in the same space right now. You're texting him and he's not responding? Right. Okay. Was are you guys busy? in the same city yeah. or is he traveling for work? Nope. Like... We're in the same city. So I dumped him over text. Oh. 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 That, wow. doesn't, that seems a little rash. Was well, he in a surgery uh... or something? <laughs> yeah. Like, what, what, You don't know what he was doing? Well, you know, the next morning he's like, are you joking? I was just busy. We literally talk every day. Do you want to be with me? And I was like, uh, you didn't even respond for 24 hours, so no thanks. What? <laughs> oh. Look, uh, okay, uh, in the wow. weirdest defense of my life, listen uh, here. Uh, if you're used to texting someone every single day, morning, noon, and night, and then one day, four months uh, later, with no explanation, that does you. seem out of the blue. I don't know if you break up, but that's very weird. Yeah, but you don't even have a yeah. talk about it. You just dump them via text. I that's mean, that's a different story. Are but... you like, are you regretting it now? Is that why you're calling our show? Well, you know, when I dumped him over text, it kind of got me thinking about the other stuff that annoys me. Like, he never posts on social media ever. Oh. I like uh, I like when guys oh. I'm dating send me Instagram funny memes. But you don't want them off. on their phones. You want them looking at <laughs> them all the time. That's not true. She wants them on the phone talking to her only yeah. okay. and not that looking at anything else. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I'm trying to post a picture of you. <laughs> Get off your phone. Okay. So you started <laughs> snowballing with all these reasons yeah. that you were right to oh. dump him. Yeah, so then I get worked up. I block him from every oh, social oh, media no. text. As one does, yeah. Such a reasonable and thing. It's, it's been a few weeks, and I regret it. And I I realized okay. I probably got a little overly emotional about it. Huh. Well, that's good. good. This is mature There's then. maybe yeah. some growth there. Yeah. So did you reach out to him and apologize? No. Well, that's why I'm asking you guys. Like, I don't know how to ask him to go back with me and give me a chance. Yeah. So wait, oh, so this you... is okay. this is the first time we're going to be reaching out to your ex boyfriend after you dumped him over text because he didn't respond to you in 24 hours. Yeah, I mean, I overreacted. Yes, I know this now. You know, and I okay. Okay. I regret it, and I probably should have thought about it or taken a couple deep breaths. But it really yeah. ticked me off. Okay. okay. I think honestly, a yeah. lot of what you just said right there to us would be great to put somewhere in the conversation when we reach out to him really? for your awkward call. Yeah. That what's funny is I was thinking the opposite. Oh. I was thinking oh. that oh, that all sounds like an excuse as why it's okay that she did that. Like that's not an apology. Oh. An apology is just I'm sorry. Like well, not, but you really ticked me off. Hold on, what's our goal here? Are we spelling it out? You want him back, or are we trying to subtly convince him that he's missing out on you? Whatever works, guys. I want to date him again, so okay. can you help me? Okay, okay, <laughs> we'll try. We're gonna come back, give okay. you a little bit of advice, whether it's a sincere apology or a subtle threat, yeah. and we'll try and help you make your awkward Tuesday phone call right after this. Hold on. It's awkward. It's Tuesday. Tuesday phone call. Brooke, I have a question. Okay. How hard is it to admit when you're wrong? Oh, it's actually pretty easy. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I do it all the time. Yeah, you can tell Ask my husband. Never done it. That's how she's Are you easy. kidding me? I admit I'm wrong all the time. Well, we took an informal huh. poll around the office recently, <laughs> and did. it had to be a secret poll, yeah. obviously, right. because uh, yeah. some people here are afraid of you and <laughs> quote what you might do yeah. to their careers and families. You mean everyone. But I will say, your name was up there oh, as one really? of the people that gets the most votes for someone who can't admit openly when they're wrong. But I say it all the time. Maybe that's yes, just happening in your head. You should try okay. it out loud just, every once in a while. Maybe your listening skills aren't very good. Oh, oh right. wow. It's you know. Spoken like a true humble person. <laughs> You're constantly apologizing. But it's look, our fault for not listening. We have a similar mindset on the phone with us right now named Jennifer who regrets breaking up with her boyfriend. <laughs> Because he didn't text her back so one dumb. day into okay. their four-month-long relationship. So, Brooke, oh since you and her think alike, why yes. don't you talk to her? Yes. Give her some advice on how on what you yes. would do in this situation. Everyone knows that's the type of person I am, I Jennifer, no and I am here for you. But I actually do have a good plan for you, okay? Mm -hmm. Jennifer, you told us about a story when you first met where he rescued you after your credit card got declined. Remember? 
Yeah. You guys remember that? Oh, yeah. yeah. He is the guy who wants to be the knight in shining armor. So guess what? Oh. You're another damsel in distress right now. Hey. You need to call him. You need to tell him something's broken at your house, and he is the manliest man, is the only one that can <laughs> fix it. Mm. And I guarantee he'll come rushing back. Actually, you're probably right. What do you think about that, Jennifer? Make up some sort of scenario he can save you from. Yeah, and then you're, like, cute and sexy when he shows up. Ooh. Just by chance. Yeah. Do you think he'll fall for it? Yes. Yeah, yes. We're, we're guys. Yes. We're dumb. Yeah, it could be like, I don't know how handy he is. Maybe like a broken outlet or a... Well, if the guys are saying yes, then I'll try it. Okay. okay. Right. One of the guys is saying yes. It could be worth a shot, though. That's true. Jose, what, what's your advice for Jennifer? Well, you seem like a very passionate person, like very mm. intense person, which isn't a bad thing. But sometimes intense people can be more, you know, ranty. So I think you just need to convince him. That you were ranting when you sent that breakup text. You didn't really mean it. You weren't serious. You were just mad. I think that's right. gaslighting. Yeah, yeah I think that's like the definition of gaslighting. Well, whatever works to get him back. Okay. That's her, her oh, mission okay. is to get okay. him back, and I think that'll work. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of make yourself a damsel in distress, yeah. a little bit of gaslight him for and causing mom, all of yeah. your problems. Look, we've been dating for four months. You just don't know how I am. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's your no. fault. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, girls have made me feel how really How does that sound, that Jennifer? Before. You feel ready now to make this call? I think so. Oh, oh yeah. right. Okay. Good. Oh, and, and if anything doesn't go according to our plan, Brooke is more than willing to admit that she oh. is wrong. <laughs> she has said it out loud. You're us. right. I could see nothing going wrong with this at all. Exactly. I feel all like right. he's going to be so open to dating again. Okay. We're ready. Yeah. Here we go. I'm dialing your ex-boyfriend, Jason, right now. Uh, we'll step in if we feel like you need a little help. Okay. Here we go. Hello? Hey, you. How's it going? Uh, um, this is awkward. What's going on? Why are you calling? I, I just... How have you been? Um, fine. Uh, how about you? Good. I actually went to the bar where we first met, and I just thought of you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um how's work going um yeah no it's been good but can i can i help you with something or why, why are you calling Listen, well you probably want to say something to me so i'm ready when you are <laughs> uh you're calling me and you want me to say something like i'm, well, I'm confused yeah okay fine i'll go first I just hate how everything went down with us. I mean, we definitely should have talked on the phone. And I also went a little crazy and, like, may have overreacted a little, but... A little? A little, yes, a little. But I'm I wouldn't use that word to describe it, but... But I'm willing to forgive you for what you did. You're willing to forgive me? Are you serious? Like, you're calling me out of the blue, asking me to apologize to you, and you're the one who just, like, went... That's crazy, pretty much. Jason, I think you're interrupting me. I really hope you're not. I just wanted to give you a fair chance to apologize. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I'm sorry, but you're not going to get an apology from me because um, you are the one who put us in this predicament. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what you're expecting Jason, from me. let me just make it really easy for you. Like, I... I'm, yeah. So what you need to do is just apologize to me because, you know, and say, sorry, Jennifer, you know, I know you wanted to see me and I know that a day shouldn't go wow. by where you like, don't text Thank me back. Thank you for making it so easy for me. You really, really just uh, made my day here. Um, okay. I get this is hard for you maybe and you're adding sarcasm on top of that, but just so I'll, I'll help you start it off. I'm very, very sorry for not responding to you and making you feel neglected. I'll, you know, I'll make it up to y'all. I'll even let you get my groceries or buy me dinner or pay me rent, like whatever gesture you want to show, you know? Are you actually being serious right now? Like I... Yes, I am. And also I actually have something that's broken at my house and is hoping you can fix it. It's an outlet. <laughs> Never heard the word outlet say so sexy. Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell is actually going on? Like, oh my god, that's a great who are question. all who are all these people on the hey, phone? Yeah, Jason, we're a radio show called Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. 
Oh, I'm so uncomfortable right now. You bought me on the radio. Oh. Yeah, we're doing something called an awkward Tuesday phone call, trying to help out our friend Jennifer here with an issue. And I, I will say, just to take her side, I didn't hear any apology Shut whatsoever. Up. Wait, she gave you a lot of chances there. <laughs> Jeff is being sarcastic. Well, I'm actually, I'm very thankful that you guys just witnessed that because yeah. this has been my life. Isn't this ridiculous? What is uh, happening? Can you actually believe this is real? Jennifer, you that told so us that you wanted to, like, see him again because you were sorry. Remember, yeah. you were I like. I do, but he needs to apologize. Uh, yeah, oh. everybody knows a sincere apology is always better when you force somebody to give it to you. <laughs> It makes total sense. Yeah, that's right, Jeff. That is right. Either way, however you want to look at this, there were some hurt feelings on both sides. And I think what would really yeah. help is to get an apology out there from both of you at the same time. So what? I'll count to three and you guys can both say uh. I'm sorry to each other. Uh-uh. Ready? One, I... two, three. I'm sorry you didn't text me back. Oh, oh. Jason's oh, still is... saying awkwardly silent yeah. over there. Yeah, I think Jason's made up his mind, Jeffrey. Oh, I don't think it. he's going to go over and fix the outlet. <laughs> no, he wants to go over and give her an in-person apology because mm. an in-phone apology wasn't enough. Is that what you're hey. thinking, Jason? Well, you hit it right on the head. Yeah. Um, see, I just know <laughs> Look, these things. He finally gets you. Yeah. He does. He finally right. heard you right. And, and you know what, Jennifer? I've actually moved on, and I have a date tonight, so... I, don't know like there's, there's really no purpose in these kind of calls moving forward just uh, oh okay you go your way i go mine well, good luck i'm sure she likes to be texted back as well oh okay. i don't i don't think that she'll probably throw a fit about yeah. it i don't think you're reading yeah. in between the lines what he's saying yeah. is he wants you to show up to the oh, date yeah. and stop prove it. your love stop it. Oh. Stop can it. you do that jennifer <laughs> text me a time and place jason <laughs> wow you really are crazy <laughs> and fun. Oh, oh my God. Man, talk about being nervous for your first date. Uh, Not because uh, you want to impress the new girl, because Jennifer might show uh, up out of nowhere dressed up as one of the waiters. No, oh, Jennifer, no. don't even say that it, and put that in her head. No, it just means that she loves him. No, it does not. It means that somebody needs a restraining order. <laughs> no, 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 either way. Oh. Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. No one likes to talk about money. Am I saving enough? Can I buy a house? Am I paying too much in taxes? Will I be able to retire? What if you could unlock insights about your finances in less than five minutes with a clear picture of where you stand today and where your money can work harder? Now you can. Visit facet.com to take the free quiz and get your financial wellness score today. That's F-A-C-E-T.com. This ad is sponsored by Facet. Facet Wealth Incorporated is an SEC registered investment advisor. This is not an offer to buy or sell securities, nor is it investment, legal, or tax advice. At Granger, we're for the ones who specialize in saving the day. And for the ones who've mastered the art of keeping business moving. We offer industrial-grade supplies for every industry, with same-day pickup and next-day delivery on most orders, all backed by real people ready to help. So you can get the right answers and products right when you need them. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Hey, this is Reed Isbell. And Dan Isbell, otherwise known as The Brothers Hunt. We're hosting a new podcast, God's Country, by Meat Eater and iHeart Podcast. God's Country is a weekly drive to the intersection of music and the outdoors. Two things that go together like Sunday and some pond fishing. Or cows and green pastures. This record will be the one that it will always define who I am. So hop on in and ride shotgun with us as we take the back roads with some of the most influential people in country music today. Listen to God's Country on the iHeart Radio app, Apple Podcast, or wherever you get your podcast. Welcome to the Texas Two-Piece Feast. Grub for the grind. A leg, thigh, honey butter biscuit, and spicy jalapeno starting at 349. Grab some fuel for the soul with flavors always on a thousand, only at churches.